Hey guys, Vulcan Trader here. Gonna do our second video on uh, money management position sizing. And hopefully it didn't take the Lululemon trade I showed you yesterday. Um, it, was, it was just an example. I mean, it was a good setup, but probably should have. Uh, it's better to have a wider stop, um, especially when you're starting out, because if you have a tighter stop, it's going to get hit more. And then you have, so you have a lower win rate, which is kind of, uh, you know, hard psychologically to take. So it's better to have a wider stop. So this is probably, I had it like this yesterday, I think, something like this number. And so, or maybe it was, I think it was about right here, actually. So it had gotten hit today, actually. Trump tweeted something crazy and about the China trade war, which is just a thing that goes around in circles for the last two years, pretty much, and is meaningless information, but the uh, market still moved to it. Maybe the algo is doing something. Who knows? Anyway, so a better way maybe would have been to put it here behind the trend line, the 50-day moving average. I was just giving an example, and then, you know, maybe have your target somewhere up here in this neighborhood, and... Um, and then also if it went up here, you'd probably want to hold on to it and keep going. You don't necessarily sell it right here. That was just an example to, you know, you know, try and hold on to your winners as long as you can. But anyway, that all being said today, our video is about, um, the Kelly criterion. So what is the, uh, Kelly criterion? It's a formula developed by a guy back in the, I can't remember how long ago it was. Anyway, Bell Labs a long time ago, maybe the sixties or something around that time frame, But um, it's the optimal bet size that you can have in order to win uh, the most amount of money. So the most simple type of game that you could do is a coin flip, right? So if you had a, um, a coin and you're going to flip it and you, if uh, it lands on heads, you, uh, so you say you got $100 and if it, it lands on heads, then you lose whatever you bet out of your hundred dollars. And if it lands on tails, you, uh, it, whatever you bet out of your hundred dollars doubles. Okay. So how much should you bet on each, uh, coin toss? And so they had a group of 61 participants here that were given $25 each. They were asked to place bets on a coin and they knew was weighted so that it showed heads with a probability of 0.6. So they actually had, um, odds in their favor of 0.6. You can actually still win even if it's 0.5 just with money management alone. We'll get to that in a second. This is, I think this is just the coolest thing. That, that, and this is betting for anything, any type of gambling, the, the theory behind it. And so it excites me. Call me a nerd. So, uh, so there was a cap in the winnings, $250. They only had half an hour to play, which meant they had around 300 flips at most. The question is, how would you try to maximize your winnings? As always with these things, the humans did badly, even with the odds on their side. So that's why we're here to teach you to think like a Vulcan, not like a human. 17 of the participants managed to go bust, and, and 18 of the 61 bet their initial stake on one flip. So you either win it, double your money or lose it all, which is terrible. Even worse, 40 of the participants actually bet on tails at least once. Awful. And uh, there were some success, successes. Uh, average take-home pot was $91, which there's no reason everyone couldn't have gotten the $250 with 300 flips, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, with 13 people to... Oh, no, oh, so yeah. There's 13 people. Um, no, that was the average is 91. 13 people did take home the maximum 250, but what is optimal? Okay, so the Kelly criterion, this is the formula for it. It's basically... What is your, and this is for any trade, you, you only need to know two things. The probability of winning. So let's say on our Lululemon trade, it was 50-50. And so it's 50% this way, 50% this way. We don't know that you'd have to back test it or kind of get a feel after lots of trades, whether that is actually the case, but just for assumption sake, so we can uh, match it up to our coin flip. You got that? And then the, um, and then the win loss uh, ratio, meaning how much you would win compared to how much you would lose on that trade. And so for a coin flip, the coin flip game, it is the percentages, we'll say it's 50-50, and the win loss ratio is two to one or two, because you can make two times whatever you bet. So it would take one minus, uh, let's see, 0.5 here. Oh, one minus 0.5, just show you how this works equals 0.5 divided by your the amount you would win. It's 2 to 1 odds, so divided by 2 is 0.25. Okay, so remember that 0.25. And then our uh, winning probability is um, 0.5 again minus 0.25 
so the optimal bet size is 0.25 or 25 percent of your account so if you had a hundred dollar account you'd want to bet 25 dollars right and um the so let's see here and i'll show you this guy uh, larry william well i'm going to show you my example my spreadsheet first so i made a spreadsheet here and it actually plays out the coin flip game and you can pick what um, percentage you want to do and you got two different systems here so i just have values negative one or two so that it you it will um take away the money that you bet make it a negative and then add it back to here and so forth and go all the way down the line and then um it generates randomly a negative one or a two all the way down here and this one matches whatever the value is in here okay and it will multiply it'll take your uh, this your bankroll multiply it by this amount and then play it out okay so this one you start with a thousand dollars and this is the optimal kelly bet for this coin flip and you lose 250 dollars and then uh you, f first time then you're going to bet 187 which is 25 percent of 750 so it's a smaller bet whenever you, after you lose right and then it would go down to 562 so you lose half your money so it has huge swings you know you have a 50 percent drawdown and then you'd go back to um you bet again do 25 percent of 562 and then you would gain 281 in this case instead of losing so you have 843 anyway it keeps going and you have some drawdowns here but if you, we scroll down we keep going keep going and it gets to buy and it starts to play out as the odds get in your favor, the probabilities of the 50%. We got a bigger sample size. And you look at this one and buy, you know, let's see, 300 flips or 300 trades. You're at, you're already a, um, let's see, this is it. You're, you're a trillionaire pretty much at this point. There's a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire. Okay. Just to show you how powerful it is. Whereas, Whereas traders usually use something like one, two, three percent. So I did one percent here on this one, and so you have a small drawdown of nine ninety. Then your account slowly grows, uh, um, which is easier for us humans to handle. But the optimal logical amount is two hundred or is twenty five percent of your account. We were using one percent in our example in our previous video. And you see it slowly grows, and then after about let's see, we go all the way to out down to the bottom. I did it down to a thousand, and on. You know, after a thousand flips here, and then you'd be at one hundred ninety-three thousand. So if you did a thousand trades with that were two to one on the coin flip game, then that's what you'd get. And and the interesting thing, so pretty much anything you can still uh, let's see, let me get back up here. Now, if we change this to let's say uh, you could change it to like thirty or something, which is more than the Kelly. Oh, and this is just showing that the Kelly system is beating. The other system over time it's i did the amount in the bankroll here minus this one and then eventually it's positive to where the kelly system's winning we'd say we did like 35 or something and just to prove that that's not better and the kelly system's losing losing and then eventually starts winning 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 and see so even though you bet more in the other one this it actually is profitable because it's, it seems that if as long as you bet uh your probability is 0.5. As long as you bet less than 0.5, it'll eventually be profitable, but it's not the optimal to grow your account at the fastest rate. You see the Kelly system is winning as we go on. Now we go and we move it up to something like 0.6. Once you get greater than your probability on your bet, then you actually start to lose money in this one. It should probably, yeah, see it draws down, goes to zero and you lose. And never and where the Kelly system keeps winning. So I, I just think this is really cool to understand the probabilities of bet sizes and you'd have to know. So now to take that back to trading, you would have to know your, the amount that you're likely to win and the probability of getting that. So we're going to go over that, how you would know that in our other videos or um, in different types of system trading systems and what they're likely to return. But, um, and then we'll show you this, I was going to show you this too. This guy, uh, Larry Williams. So this is the World Cup Tra Championship of Trading. And you, uh, you look through all these, this is the standings throughout the years of the winners. And so the people, what their year, their return was for that year that they won. You got like 900, 199, one, um, 
some people win with you know lower amounts some years because maybe it's a harder year. You go down here to the bottom, you got Larry Williams. He has an 11,000% return in one year. And he used that, that Kelly system with those crazy you know drawdowns, and, but then also upswings too, to win the championship. And then actually this is his daughter right here won the championship when she was, I want to say a teenager. Uh, that's the actress, Michelle Williams, and that's uh, her dad, actually. So I thought that's pretty cool, too. But I'll, I'll put all these links in the show notes. I'll also put a link to my spreadsheet. And like, subscribe, hit the bell, share it with your friends. And I mean, I've never seen a video on this explaining it, the theory. I think it's pretty cool to understand it and go through it uh, the whole way.